<laughs> well, if, um, if Tollpanzer shows up, Tollpanzer likes to have taco parties, and that's one of the channel points commands that gives everybody free tacos. So we'll see what happens. I think, I think... You stink. I'm getting echoes. I think I... I don't know why I'm getting an echo. You stink. I seem to be getting an echo. Let me, uh, let me check something out. And I don't have the time. I think I know why. I think I can fix it, but I'm getting an echo. I think it's because I've got it redirected to both of these. Okay. There we go. That's much better. You stink. Yeah, I'm not getting the echo anymore. All right, let's start the timer. I mean, they look kind of like stinky pigs. I think I need to distract the pig somehow. Um, because I think the, the, the hint I got had to do with their, uh, the leaf that I need to win the contest being among the pigs at the North Gate, which I'm guessing is, this is the North Gate. I don't know that for a fact, but, um, hey, Tollpanzer, I was just talking about you. <laughs> You stink. Speaking of the taco party. It's raining tacos. So, oh, there's my inventory. Okay, so I got an acorn. A blank acorn. Okay, so... Those pigs are being fed enough. Those pigs are being fed enough. Those pigs are being fed enough. Can't use the acorn on the pigs. My other option is cheese and some wine. Ooh, maybe I can put wine in their um, in their trough. Tacos can be used to add games to my vote list, um, which you can find here, so that we can that we can um, my voting queue, so that um, you can we can uh, get them to the vote stage and vote on them. Do you like it? Well, it's uh, so so. They can also be used to add uh, tacos or add votes at the end of a vote. They can be used to add taco investments to games, which can increase the bonus votes they get. And they can be used for other things. Like, uh, there's certain rewards that you can have on the channel. I will, I will get a, uh, a gambling thing. Can I trade it in? Do you like it? Well, it's so-so. Uh, what do I have to do? Maybe I have to talk to her. Well, Geron? Exchange lottery prize. I want to swap my prize once again. Of course. What is it you want? This time I want the wine. Give me the plum spirit. Here you go. If you'd rather have something else, you can come and exchange it later. All right. Wait, this is where I wanted to go. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get a slot and uh, uh, probably I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make some definitely make some games for that. Okay, so I I think I want I'm gonna try and put the. Uh, Put the uh, plum spirit in their trough. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, success. 
change the pig's behavior. Awesome. Wahoo! All right. Now let's see if I can mess with the trough. Look at the bird catcher. Poor boy doesn't get enough food. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But here's the oak leaf. Yoink! I've got all four. Oh. I should hurry to the Chamberlain. I do have all four. Okay, I... Alright. I was not expecting that to work. Okay. Boom and boom. I've got all four oak leaves. What? You? Show them to me. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Now the dire bunch can see who were the fools all along. Not so fast. There's one more task ahead of you. But I've collected all four leaves. Take this time pennant here and hoist it in front of the castle walls. Oh my. Now that reeks of harassment. It's meant to be a tribute to the town and your king. You are supposed to show your pride in being a subject of the King of Andergast. Piece of cake. All right, so what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to put this banner in front of the castle gate. Okay. All right, let's let's do this. Castle Kate's here. So I guess that means I go outside. I'll go for a walk later. Now I have to concentrate on my task. Wait. Where am I supposed to go for this? All I have to do now is hoist it. Where am I supposed to hoist it? I thought, it I thought that was the castle gate, but... Oh, do I have to put it here? Oh, maybe I have to put it here. Don't mess with that thing, bird catcher. Well, isn't that what I'm supposed to do? That has to go on the crossbar. What are you talking about? What crossbar? I don't I don't understand. You again. What's the pennant for again? You're supposed to hoist it. It's a tribute to the town and your king. Oh, yes. Child's play. Where am I'll I? I'll be back. Mm. I need, I need more, I need more information. Apparently not here. It's not supposed to be hoisted here. It's supposed to be hoisted on some sort of crossbar. I can't go in there. Oh, the oh the crossbar right there. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. Well, that was easy. That was easy. The bird catcher has succeeded. That's not a good omen. You have achieved victory in the Oak Leaf Challenge. Who would have thought? In order to receive your honors, you will be allowed to appear before your king today. But someone of your ilk will not be admitted into the presence of the king just like that. So listen to me carefully. Whatever you say, Master Chamberlain. Royal Chamberlain. My apologies. First rule, you're only to talk if you are spoken to first. Do not ever Got interrupt it. the king. Or me, for that matter. And don't approach the throne closer than seven paces. Yes, sir. You can count to seven, right? Seven is the number that comes after six. You will address the king as your royal highness or your majesty. Your royal highness. Got it? Don't cause me any embarrassment. One slip and you'll have spent your final day in Andergast. All right. 
Let's get this thing over with. I won. All right. Newcastle, report. The young queen of Nostria will spend some memorable days here in Andergast, your majesty. Have the guards been clothed properly from the armory? And has the messenger with a welcome note finally been sent? Not only that, my liege. The finest pastries have arrived from Albernian shores. They taste delicious. And we finally managed to cast the role of the rogue Morgul for the soiree. Old Buckledorn will play the part. An interesting choice. He shall not frighten the queen too much, though. As you wish, my liege. <laughs> Who is that young lad over there? Is he a carny, too? Your Majesty, a victor has been named in the minor challenge of the oak leaf for the common folk. It is young Garon from the Tannerhood. Your Majesty. The youngster is the stepchild of Ranger Gwynling. Is that so? Confirm. It's true, Your Majesty. Old Gwynling. Without him, we'd probably still be fearing the seer to this day. Your Majesty, don't forget that... He paid his dues. Be that as it may. I hereby proclaim you winner of the Oak Leaf Challenge, Garon. Thus spoken and sealed in the 1,889th year of independence. May you make Andergast proud, my boy. You may thank the king and rise now. I thank you for this honor, Your Majesty. Your audience is over now. Wait. So, didn't you learn the trade of the hunt from Gwyndling, Garon? He taught me one or two things, all right, but I'm still at the beginning of my career. Each journey starts with the first step. Say, Sir Newcastle, have the attempts to rid the royal guest chambers of those nasty crows been successful yet? Your Majesty... We're doing all we can. Ooh. But they're proving themselves quite obstinate, I think my I've got a job. Nasty little buggers indeed, those crows. I've been hearing that for days now. The servants are doing the best they can. Not good enough, it seems. It would constitute an insult to the Queen of Nostria. Geron, do you think you can deal with crows? They're just birds like every other kind. You bait them, scoop them, grab hold of them. Well, that's good news. I hereby charge you with a mission of ridding the royal guest chamber of all crows. But your majesty... The whole court is terribly busy, Newcastle. I'm sure you can use a helping hand. Of course, my liege. I'm just saying... Well, you know what people say about him. I'm not inclined to bother with the superstitions of the player. That's a twist. I it is concluded. Oh, Take the man-child to the ravaged coming. chambers at once. Very well, my liege. Fulfill your charge well, Garon, and we'll meet again. The fate of Andergast lies in your hands. I will not disappoint you, my king. So by winning, I got a job. You've brought me some serious trouble already, young man. I hope you won't cause us any more bad luck. I'll do my best. The crows have been at it in here since yesterday. You can see for yourself what damage they've done. In just a few days, the Queen of Nostria will arrive. These are the only appropriate chambers for a guest of that importance. This must have been a nice room once. Spare your cheeky comments. You better start catching those crows. And I said catch, not kill. King Aphidan's wife doesn't want any bad omens, you hear? Got it. I'll think of something. And don't let your fingers get sticky. Wow. He does not trust me. Well, Toll Panzer, I will say that we have a four ballot limit for all games, so voting for a game that's on its third vote um, versus one on its first vote might seal the deal for you. Let's see, what do I have? Let's see, we've got a chandelier. We have an open thing here. We have a crow. We have another crow. And we have another crow. We have a stag's head. Let's look at the chandelier. Useless pageantry. Who needs so many candles burning at the same time anyway? 
We have a stash. Grinling's old stuffed owl has nothing on this thing, I must admit. We have a bed. We have a fireplace. What a massive fireplace. Rumor has it there are secret passages throughout the castle. I'll find out if this is one of them eventually. But first, I'll deal with the crows. A rug. Softer than my bed. It must be worth a fortune. Rug. All right, I think whatever I need is in my inventory. All right, we have, we have a net and we have a trap. Hey, hey, we laid down a trap. Let's put an acorn in it. Not suitable bait. Okay, so we need to find some bait. What would be good bait? Can we leave? We can't leave. So we're kind of stuck in here. Um, a shiny thing. Yeah. Some money. All I can attract with that is magpies. Magpies. Okay. A dove's of course egg. not. A dove's egg, maybe? A bird catcher needs two things. A proper trap and the right bait. Hey, there we go. Apparently an egg is the right bait. What was that? Nothing. Everything's fine. I got one. Put that back. This is bound to batter someone to death, loose as it is. I can't reach it. Okay, we got one crow. What if we what if we mess with the trap? Okay, we can take the trap that has a crow in it. Can we let the crow out? No. We put the crow in the fire I'll lure the crows into the fireplace and then set up the net in front of it. Then they'll escape through the chimney and come back in through the window. Wait, what? I'll lure the crows into the fireplace and then set up the net in front of it. Then they'll escape through the chimney and come back in through the window. I'll lure the crows into the... Then they'll... I'll hang the net between the antlers. But where do I fasten it on the lower end? Hmm. Well, we're making some progress here, I think. Hey, Tango Cash, thanks for the lurk. Must be worth a four. Okay. If they come back in through the window, then that seems like a no no go for me. Okay. I've had better ideas. I'll lure the crows into the f then they'll escape. This is bound to batter some. I'll hang the net between the antlers, but where do I fasten it on the lower end? Good question. Hmm. I don't have anything else. A hammer. We have a hammer. Doesn't work. This doesn't yield. I can't think of anything here. I'm supposed to... Oh, maybe we can move this. 
Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Aha! There we go. I don't see how... I honestly don't see how this is going to work, but... Um... Oh. <clears throat> what happened? Did we succeed or not? Oh, what's happening? You. You spell doom. Just as I thought. What? Where am I? The execution. The seer. Silence! No bad omens. And to think I put in a good word to the king for you. What happened? I know what will happen. You'll catch those crows by the hour of six this evening, or you'll be put in the pillory. The crows. Right. I don't suppose this was successful. The sand in your hourglass is wasting away, bird catcher. It will run out at the hour of six this evening. This dream, it... Uh, <laughs> pull yourself together, Geron, and start to deal I with those crows already. The king trusts me. I can't let him down. Perhaps Gwynling found something that can help me while he was dissecting the bird. I, I guess I failed? Um, I guess. Unfortunately, I, uh, killed one of the crows. This is, this game is weird. It's, it's definitely a pure adventure game, though, and I, I'm liking, the story is, like, totally not obvious right now, but... Geron, you turned up at the right time. He sure seems to have gone through a mood change. That can't be good. You'll have to catch a fairy for me, as quickly as possible. A fairy? What's gotten into you? We don't have much time. Help me. What do you need a fairy for? Is she supposed to drive away the crows for you? I may be wrong, but perhaps the seer is back. A game with this horror story. You're not making any sense. You'd better help me expel the crows from the royal guest chambers. Later. For now, just do what I tell you. How could the seer possibly be back? He's dead, isn't he? We all watched him die. But now, not only the crows have returned. But the magpies too. Murders, Geron. Where none should occur. First Knight Olderich, now Magister Dorata. They were the ones who put the seer at the stake. Who knows what else will happen? Oh no. Boo earns, boo earns. Indeed. All right. What's a fairy got to do with the seer? Not a fairy, the fairy. You have to catch her before someone else does. What does the seer want with the fairy? Only she can unleash the power of the magic harp. No man, not even the seer, can play it without dying. By the gods. If he's back, everything will start all over. You aren't making any sense to me, old man. Tell me more about that magic harp. I don't know. It is said to be from the realm of the fairies. Is this the one in the drawing? This is what she might look like. Who can be sure? Sounds hard to catch someone when I don't even know what the they look like. He longed for her, because she was the gateway to his power. Or that's what he thought, anyway. Okay, the power of the harp. What powers does the harp hold? Nobody knows. But it is said that when the harp sounds, Andergast will perish. That's why you have to catch the fairy. She is the key. 
How do you know so much about the seer? It was I who led all those heroes to him. To his hideout in the Stone Oak Forest. You were part of the hero's quest? Hunters and scouts. We caught him. And then we burnt him. And now a knight and a magician are dead. Just trust me, and all will be fine. Trust. Why haven't you told me all this before? Now is not the time. Well, obviously, it never was the time. How did you catch that crow over there? A certain attractant, but it needs water that's been touched by fairy magic. So I would have to go where the fairy lives anyway. That's right. Hmm. Convenient, that. If I catch the fairy, will you help me with the king's crows? Promise. But would you please hurry now? You don't have to tell me that. And with this fairy water, I'll be able to catch my crows? Yes. All the other ingredients are easy to find. Splendid! The king will be amazed. All right. How do I catch a fairy? The fairy lives in a hidden place in the stone oak forest, near an old but sealed fairy portal. Look about two midden miles north of the old finger where the oneberries grow. If you hear the great waterfall, you're in the right place. Oh, I'll find that place all right. Try to lure the fairy out of her hollow by playing your flute. She's nosy, but also very shy. And then I'll catch her with a cage. Fairies can be deceiving. Don't let her put a spell on you. Not to worry. If she's got wings, I'll catch her. I'm on my way now. You mustn't fail. I mustn't fail. Wait, do I have, I don't have a cage anymore. Um, can I grab this one? Is the cage fixed yet? Yes, and take better care of it next time. Yoink! All right. I told you to keep your hands off that. You'll probably just break it. All right, nothing else I can grab in here. So let's go. Hey, Pickle Roy. Ah, late because of the Super Bowl. I understand. Can I do anything about these hinges yet? Hanging loose again, but I'll have to deal with that later. Good, I, uh, I, uh, won the contest. Uh, I, so I got, uh, a, um, audience with the king. The king asked me to cr clean up some crows, and then I messed up a little bit. Um, but it was intentional. It was an intentional mess up. And now I have to catch a fairy, apparently. And hey, Lars... Yeah, this is a this is this is pure point and click. This is absolutely a pure point and click, which reminds me I should save. I don't think this, this auto saves, so I definitely need to make sure I save. Although there is this auto save button. Maybe it does auto save. So now I can leave. So I can leave here. I want to go to the fairy's place. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. Very well then. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? Nothing. You're doing all right. Just keep practicing. I'm not even here. You're all alone in the woods and nobody's here to judge you. Not even me. See how I'm born? That must be her. Stop. Wait. Not your cheese. Taco party time. It's raining tacos. I've got a beautiful melody for you. Listen to this. Just keep on playing. Will you come out of there? I play adventure titles for the Why, you, part. of course. Who, me? 
Have you forgotten you're all alone? Some of the adventure stuff has <sighs> RPG elements. I'm not alone. Design. You are here. And who else? Nobody. Aha. Uh -huh. If you were a friend of the forest, they'd all be here. The moss hogs and the hazel ferrets. The pebble crane would even rain on you from the skies to honor you. And the wood foxes would build a magnificent bonfire and everyone would dance. What? But as you are not a friend of the forest, everyone just stayed at home. Um, the sound clips from the, uh, music, from the song, It's Raining Tacos, um, which is on YouTube and is a interesting song. If I were a friend of the forest, would you come out then? Yes, in that case we'd have something to talk about. We'd have to stand in awkward silence otherwise. And in order to be a friend of the forest, I'd have to... Have friends, that's right. Resin rats, for example. Or paper finches. And where would I find those? If you don't have any friends, you have to make them up. What on earth has Gwynling foisted upon me? So I'm supposed to just uh, make up a friend? A forest friend, that's right. He'd have to be made from the forest. Friends of forest friends are my friends too. Oh, I'll be back in a I minute. Mean. I know what I mean. How do I get out of here? Where's the way out? Where's the way out? Um... Okay. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, down here. I seldom have. Oh, right. No, please stay. I seldom have visitors. All oh, right. Okay, I guess I can't leave. All right. Hey, there's a snail. Yoink! I thought I needed the straw thing from the, um,. In town, but I guess not. So it's interesting. A lot of this game has one-screen puzzles, um, which I think is interesting. What's hidden in the foliage there? What's hidden in the foliage there? I don't know. Let's use my cane on it. This doesn't yield anything. Okay, let's use my hammer on it. No time to experiment. That's all I've got. Let's use my flute on it. Why on it. earth should I do that? Use my flute on it. Didn't seem to like it. A free snail, indeed. Well, I have a forest friend now, right? What a peculiar snail shell. Right? I got, I got, I got a friend who is a snail, so he's my buddy. Is that good enough? Hello? The snail, uh, Jerka, my best friend in all of the forest. You called her just now, but she preferred to stay at home. She doesn't seem to like you very much. I'll be back in a minute. She doesn't like me. I need I need to I need to give the snail something the snail wants. I'd better not. Huh? Um What's with the snail in the foliage? What's with the snail in the What's hidden in the foliage there? Guess I'll have to Ow! No fairy. Just a hedgehog. A hedgehog? Okay. All right. What can I do to make the snail like me? Give it some snail food. Hmm. I 
thought I saw something other than pile of leaves. Maybe not. Oh, just tree hollow. Okay, there's a hedgehog in there. The hedgehog scurried away. The hedgehog scurried away. The hedgehog scurried away. Would you like some of that? The wrong bait, obviously. A snail should be the right treat for you. He seems to like it, but he's too scared. Ah, we gave the we gave the hedgehog a snail to eat, apparently, but he seems to be too scared. So what do we do to make him less scared? Play the flute, maybe? I've had better ideas. Why on earth should I? No, 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 play it on the leaves. Give him a nice music. Didn't seem to like it. He didn't seem to like it. Hmm, well... Doesn't work. Snail leaves. A snail should be the right treat for you. He seems to like it, but he's too scared. Okay, how do we make the hedgehog less scared? Yeah, poor snail, I agree. But, I mean, I actually have had a hedgehog before, and they do eat, like, little worms and insects and stuff like that, and snails. Hmm. They're also very scared of things. So, what do I need to do? What do I need to give this snail to make it less scared? It isn't going to work this way. I don't think so. Can I pick up the cage? I can pick up the cage. Okay. Interesting. Very well. Perhaps Gwynling will settle for a hedgehog in case I can't catch the fairy. That is a gigantic hedgehog. Serves you right, spiky guy. You shouldn't always sting our guests. No wonder no one ever comes to visit us. Hello? Look at my hedgehog. He's my friend. But you had to imprison him so that he stays with you. That's no way to treat a friend. Come on. So I'm supposed to just... A forest friend, that's right. He'd have to be made from the forest. Friends of forest friends are my friends too. I'll be back in a minute. Hey, I got hedgehog spikes. I did get hedgehog spikes. Not likely. What can I use those on? Nothing. An acorn figurine? No. No. Ah, oh, it was such a good idea. I'm Damn. not sure. Doesn't work. Hammer on the acorn? I could really use some sleep. Why did you say that? No time for such things. Ow! <laughs> okay, so I got I got 
hedgehog spikes and can I let the hedgehog out I don't want to I'd wanna, rather not I'd wanna, rather not I don't want to hit the hedgehog I want to let the hedgehog out of the cage that has to be a Theranian hedgehog there's no kind that has longer spikes oh it's a Theranian hedgehog and that's why it's so big. Okay, that explains it. Okay, what do I need to do? I have spiky things. What can I do with spiky things? An acorn figurine? No. Why not? An acorn? No. Worthless. This doesn't yield anything. No time for so. Of course not. An acre? No. Waste of money. I've had better ideas. I don't think so. No time for such things. What for? All right. I don't know what to do. Nothing. I don't think so. Well, no. That doesn't help. I have to make something. I have to make something. But I feel like it's almost like a pixel hunt now. I also don't know if I can die in this game. So I, uh... I don't have a death counter right now, but if it turns out I need one... One will get up, put up in the corner. So I have, I, I don't see anywhere else that I can do stuff. And I don't think I can leave. No, I sell. All oh, right. Okay. That has to be a Theranian hedgehog. There's no kind that has longer spikes. Hmm. A little fairy is nowhere to be seen. I hope I'm not, like... Let's save again. I'm gonna save again. Can't go up there. Wait, chestnut twig? That is new. Help yourself. I have plenty of those. Alright, a twig. Chestnuts. Lure the fairy out of her hollow playing the flute. Great idea, Gwynling. Alright. This one goes here. Alright. That one there. This one over there. Chestnut mannequin. All right, we just made something. Hello? Well, now, a chestnut king. A king? Really? Yeah, he rules the realm of the chestnuts and, uh, and he's my friend. I'm deeply honored, your tiny majesty. Here on here is my dearest friend of the forest, my lady fairy. <laughs> Both of you may enter. Finally. Wahoo! All right, here we go. We're in. What a strange place. Dolls made of bulbs with hats made of leaves. Hmm. But where is the... Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda, and this is Miss Greenbald, Finkel and Hinkle, the Turnip Ghosts, and Plapperap. To make it simple, you can call me Nuri. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you... in love? Now that's unfortunate. I thought you were a fairy. All this nonsense completely in vain. Of course I am a fairy. What else could I be? You're a human, just like I am. 
You're much too tall for a blossom fairy and a man-sized fairy? We'll turn you into a radish at once if you don't keep quiet. Oh no. The dolls! They... No, please. Please don't do it. I'm just a simple bird catcher. How was I supposed to know? I'm just fooling around. I can't turn anyone into a radish. In fact, I can't turn anyone into anything anymore. But you are a fairy? Yes. Why? Would you like to come with me? Why? Do you want to show me your world, which must be full of humans? Uh, yes. With roofs made yes. from wooden shingles? Exactly. I can show you those. Oh, that's marvelous. But, no, I can't leave here. I must stay near the fairy gate. Why can't you just come with me? If I leave here, I get sick. The only thing that keeps me alive in this world is the magic of the fairy gate. How's that? It is my well. Without its water, my soul dries up. Like a plant. Ooh, that's not good then. Couldn't you just take a part of the magic with you? How could I do that? Hmm, let me think about it. Okay, I need to figure out how to take some fairy water with me. Is this the fairy gate? Does it lead to your world? Not anymore. It's been sealed. Did you come from the fairy land? Yes. And hopefully I'll never go back there. Why don't you want to go back to your home? That's Good just question. the way it is. Well, all right. To each their own secrets. I'll be back in a minute. You say that a lot. I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here's the fairy gate with a bunch of water. So this is like the water that apparently keeps Nuri alive. We have some leather ribbons. Let's grab those. Can I borrow one of these ribbons? Not those. I wanted to use them to... No. I can't remember what I wanted with them. I'll give them to you as a present. Yoink! All right, we got a leather ribbon. All right, what else do we have here? We obviously have the fairy, the fairy gate, which looks like, it's very weird. It looks like an egg or something like that, that was open up and it has water in it. Mandrakes. We can probably, I guess we can talk to them. Go on, say hello to them. What? Go on. Uh, hello, Hinkle and Finkle and whatever your names are. Okay, so we got some a ribbon thing. Our cage got left with a hedgehog in it. That's all I can find here. These don't seem to be anything. Let's click here and go to the fairy gate. I'm not going to climb up there. All kinds of things could happen if I touch this gate. It doesn't work that way. Let's see where this leads me. Okay, so I put the walking cane with the leather ribbon. I think that might be... I can fish for the water, but the rod still needs a container attached. Ah, okay, so I've now made kind of a thing where I can, uh, okay, okay. Not like this. Maybe. What for? I kind of want to smash the acorn open so I can use the acorn as a container, but apparently you're not going to let me do that. Container, a container. Yeah, this is a this is a fairly newer one. Um, I, I don't remember when it's from. It's called the Dark Eye of Chains of Satinov. Um, and it is from. I will let you know. Satin, satin, 
I'm sorry. The Dark Knight Chains of Satin from 2012. So it is actually a eight year old eight year old game. Around eight years old, but it's 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 newer. It's it's pretty cool. I, I I'm I'm liking it. Most of the puzzles have been one room, one or two room puzzles. The, at the beginning, we had a, a little bit larger of an area, about three or four rooms to deal with. What, what can I use the container? Huh, can I leave? Am I allowed to leave? I can leave, so this is a two room puzzle. We're back to a two room puzzle. Okay, can I, can I no, leave, please leave? No, please, I, I can't leave. Oh, right. I can't leave leave, but I can come back out here, which I don't think is going to help me. I hope you're doing good retro games rule. game definitely has pixel hunting in it, though. I can take as many as I want. That's interesting. So I need a container. What can I use as a container? Doesn't work. Maybe. That's no help at... What for? I can't think of anything here. Not a very bright eye. One is enough. Hmm. Let's talk to her again. Have you seen my waterfall yet? It keeps flowing downwards, even at night. Okay. That does not help I'll me. I'll be back in a minute. It doesn't help me. Looking for hot spots. Looking for some hot spots. Brittle spot. What's this? Whoever sealed this fairy gate certainly wasn't weak. Oh, water. There's a magic glow from deep within. Huh. Take that, fairy gate. Okay, I, I don't know how that helps me, but okay. I mustn't touch the fairy water. There's a magic glow from deep within. Apparently, touching the fairy water is bad. I need a container to put it in still. Maybe. No. Gwynling would not approve. I'm out of idea. I can fish for the water, but the rod still... Okay. I can do better than that. I'd rather not. What for? Huh? I need to focus on the... Of course not. Let's see if she has any more ideas. Uh... Yes? She has no I'll ideas. I'll be back in a minute. She is not of any help to me. She does not help. Go on, say hello to them. What? Go on. Uh... No time for such thing. I can use my little um, mannequin. 
nonsense. Hmm. Well, I guess we can we can go looking for more hotspots. We found one. She's a hot spot. We can leave the area. Which I don't think there's anything out there other than our cage that has a hedgehog in it. He is very stubborn. He is a very stubborn individual. I mustn't touch the fairy water. So I need a container to put the water in. They say you shouldn't look into a fairy's face for too long, otherwise you'll fall under her spell. Did you come up with an idea yet? I'm still thinking. Like, this looks pretty good right here, but I can't take it. The thing that I think is the most appropriate is the snail shell. But I don't seem to be able to get it. Oh, maybe I can use the ribbon to get the hedgehog out. Maybe. Or maybe I can use this. That doesn't help. No, that doesn't help. I want to let the hedgehog out of the cage. I just want to open the cage. Get out of there. Oh, there we go. That's all I had to do. Okay, there we go. Well, the prawn shellers of Nostria would laugh at me, but that's still a fishing rod. There we go. We did it. All we had to do was open the cage using the correct button. Okay, now we can use this on the cage. What are you doing there? Very well, but how do I seal the snail shell now? Ah, I got a fisherman uh, achievement, I guess. So now I need to seal the thing? Man! With an acorn. Interesting. The acorn fits on the end of the snail shell like a cork. Now finally, I'll attach the leather ribbon so that the fairy won't spill anything. Nice. I think that calls for a taco party. It's rain and tacos. So we now have an amulet that has fairy water in it. All right, now can I talk to her? Uh, yes. Look what I've made for you. You've tied Yerk of the snail to a leather ribbon. No, look. The snail shell is filled with water from the fairy gate. Now you can come with me. Really? Just try it. All righty. Let's go. You have to show me everything. Where do we go first? We have to go to Andergast. Is that where you live? That's one way of expressing it. Which way? This way. Wait. I have a feeling some bad stuff is about to go down. Look, Geron. <laughs> a magnificent bird. 
This plague gets worse and worse. Come, there's the town gate. I just want to say hello to him. This unkempt black witch's <laughs> beast? Says the ugly, pale-faced pig-eater. Hello, Raven. I advise you to avoid the town. What's he saying? Two dark figures tiptoe past the gate. They're on the lookout for your fairy friend. Who says she's a fairy? I am a fairy. She's lying. How come you can talk anyway? And how do you know everything? I once made a big mistake. So the gods punished me by giving me the conscience it's of a, a man. It's a talking Birds crow. don't make mistakes. Birds just do whatever it is that birds do. You mean like the crows in this town? Why don't you regale us with a cheerful tale? Stay away from him, Nuri. Something's wrong here. But all creatures have the gift of speech, Garon. That's not important. Come on, you'll be safe with me and Gwynling. Stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Why is the door open? This is where uh -oh. you live? Something's wrong here. Look at this mess. Is this blood? By the gods, there's somebody here. The fairy. I have to hide her. Closet. Closet. Look, Nuri, this is exciting. Is that a cave? Yes, wait in there until you see a bright light. Who's this? Hello. I am Nuri Darinella Vanda, but Geron calls me Nuri. Ugh. <sighs> I have to find out what's going on here. Okay. All right, let's save again. Save. Save, save, save. Save. All right. Okay, so I hit I hit her in the closet and there's a bunch of what looks like blood. Oh no. Was he was he murdered by crows? Was he murdered by a murder of crows? That would be bad. Hey, I can I can probably use this string on the catapult. Huh? No. No. Okay. Well, let's go up. Oh wait, I can't wait. Oh, 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 oh. By the gods! What happened here? Oh no, he can't teach Your me. Eyes. Who did this to you? The seer. He's back. Don't move. I'm with you now. He sent his creatures for me. The fairy. You'll have to... They... Gwynling. Gwynling, stay with me. <coughs> what did the attackers want from you? The old fairy. Scholar, he'll be the next. What fairy scholar? No. Oh. Please don't die. Not now. He, he traveled with us back then. Thirteen years ago. He, he was the one who sealed the gate to the fairy land. Where is he now? It was all in vain. Where is the fairy scholar? In the blood barrier at the Red Lake. He went to the Orkland? It's too late now. All is lost. What do they want with the fairy? He needs her. To play the harp. Well, he mustn't get right? her. You already told me that. What did you tell them? I spit at them with my own blood. What kind of creatures were they? Creatures of the night. Strangers in a strange world. What did they look like? They had pale faces and pointy claws. Pale faces and pointy claws. What will happen with the fairy now? There's only one solution. What way is that? You'll oh, have to kill her. I was her. afraid that was going to It's the happen. only way that Seer can be stopped. What? No, I'm not a murderer. In that case, Andergast will perish. I can't. 
can't kill the fairy. You'll have to do it. Surely there must be another way. Don't be a fool. His power is beyond the realm of your imagination. Don't call me Shirley. Quinley? There. I can hear them. The black wings. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. No. No. No, 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 no! What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? I can't kill the fairy. I'm not going to change my mind again. There must be another way. The fairy scholar. The red lake in the blood barrier. The king can deploy his knights there. They'll know how to defeat the seer. I must go to the castle immediately to warn them and everything will be fine. There she is. There's the witch. Don't look into her eyes. Witch. Take her to the stake to burn! Oh no, Nuri! I mean, in a way, this solves her problem, right? What the heck? What? Why is she there? Nuri! Geron, your humans are mad at me. I'm afraid that they'll do me harm. What did you do? I told you to stay in the room. I got bored, so I took a walk. I wanted to see a town. In the big courtyard, all the animals had been caged. I felt so sorry for them. So you opened the cages? Yes. Then I stumbled and there was a terrible noise. All of the bowls and... Why didn't you stay in the cabinet? I didn't want to do any harm. Ask the raven. He saw it all. How did you get up there anyway? I can't remember. I was scared of your humans, and the next thing I knew I was up here. But now, I can't get down. Those are not my humans. Oh, Nuri. Of course. Bad stuff did happen, like I predicted. All right, I think there's some stuff on the floor here that we should take. At least it's a memento of Gwynling. Yoink! That's nothing. Hey, oh, that thing's gone. I was like, hey, I can touch it without him yelling at me anymore, but it broke, and it wasn't me that broke it. So he was wrong. I wasn't gonna break it. Someone else broke it. What's this? I don't know. Something that's also broken. Do, 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 do. Farewell, Gwynling. The seer is bound to destroy us all with his magic harp, and that's why he needs my fairy? That's madness! That is kind of madness. There's nothing I can do here, I don't think. Damn, what am I doing? Maybe I can get her... Let's see where this leads me. Damn, what am I doing? Thought maybe I could use it as a grappling hook. Not like this. No. So what am I supposed to do? Get her down? Find a way to get her down. But if I get her down, she'll just come in here and then the town will be like, just come in here and get her. Maybe I can use the catapult. It can't launch anymore. The string has rotted away. Already broken. Already broken. Gwynling would not approve. I've collected enough junk. I've collected... Nothing in there. So she let all the birds free. Let's see if there's anything in the clothes trunk. Let's save the game again. Let's go out here. 
Your fairy is in danger, Night Hare. No, oh, it's you again. A mob has amassed. They want to burn her like a witch. Go and help her before it's too late. I figured that one out. What did the fairy do? She ran off and set all the animals free. All hell broke loose. <laughs> They almost caught your friend, but she fled to the top of the wall. Why do they want to burn Nuri like a common witch? That came up when she fell into the booth with the clay balls. She raised an awful ruckus, and when everybody was looking in her direction, she fixed all the broken goods with a spell. She has the ability to repair things with magic? Yes, just like a witch does. And a stake can be set up in no time. I have to rescue her. Why don't you help? I am a raven. What can I do? Giving smart replies and making sinister threats, that's what. You buggers are nothing but bad luck. Now that's helpful. Why don't you get with it and get her down from there before it's too late? I'll come up with something. You keep quiet. Hurry. Okay, well, I know if I go in here, I end up up there. So... I'll never be able to untie that with my bare hands. Well, luckily, I have a broken knife. If I only had a proper knife. I don't have a proper knife. I have a fake knife. Nuri! Geron, your humans are mad at me. I'm afraid that they'll do me harm. Maybe she can fix it. Can you really perform proper magic, Nuri? Like fixing broken things? Most of the time I can. Fixing things is easy. Mm. She can fix my knife. Can you fix this knife with your magic? Sure. Do I have to throw it to you or something? That's not necessary. It really is fixed. Thank you. Will you rescue me now? I'm on it. All right. Yeah, I know, right? He needs a proper knife. Very well. First the rope, then the stake. No. Wait a minute. The other way around. Otherwise, the barrels will crush me down there. Wait, what? Firmly wedged in. Yoink! All right. Yeah, the rope is keeping the barrels. It's like a two. It's like a fault tolerant system. So if one thing breaks. The barrels don't cumbling down, I guess. I don't know what these barrels are for, but that's not the point. Okay, I don't know why I did that, honestly. Oh, I see. I understand why I did that. I created a wall between myself and those people, so now when I rescue her and get her into my building, they can't come in. That makes, that actually makes sense. It's a barricade, it's a wall. Please, Geron, hurry up. Okay, I see, I see. I thought that was going to solve my problem, but it didn't. It's So now we can go over here and Okay, now I think we need to somehow get a uh Damn, what am I doing? Uh 
The catapult's not going to work. The flute isn't going to work. The cage isn't going to work. Hmm. I feel like this catapult is somehow important. It can't launch anymore. The string. I'm going to operate a real catapult sometime. Peace with Nostria can only last for so long. I can't rip it off. I need a hammer. Well, conveniently, I have a hammer. Okay, I got a hinge. What does a hinge do for me? Wait, what did I just do? <sighs> I have a door now. A whole door. I have a door. In my insanely large pockets, I have a door. Okay. I don't see how this helps, but... It doesn't. The answer is it doesn't. Maybe we can use this on the wall. No, doesn't work either. There's no, there's no way the fairy can climb over to the warehouse on this rickety wall. Hey, Retro Games, thanks for the lurk. Sorry to hear that you are passing out from exhaustion. Okay. So are we not, maybe we're supposed to do it from up here. Maybe the solution is to do it up here instead of down here. Why am I getting some art, some, I'm getting some weird graphical artifacts. That was weird. I saw a flash. Well, that's good. I have to work tomorrow and that sucks. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to work. But let's see if I can get you. Maybe I can. Um, I have to build a bridge to our house for her. Well, I know, but how am I going to do that? Wait. How did I end up over here? What the heck? That was weird. I have to build a bridge to our house for her. I know. Let's talk to her. Please get on. I am. I'm working on it. Yeesh. Of course not. Okay, what else do I need to build a bridge? Okay, I have a door. I have a door. I suppose I can't get this door. Damn! 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 Okay, I don't think there's anything in here that I can use, except a dead guy. I don't think I can use him to help with a bridge. Nothing else over there. That won't slow the mob down for long. How in the name of the unknown has she gotten up there? I have to build a bridge to our house for her.
Okay, I don't under, quite understand how I'm supposed to do this. I don't think so. I can't think of anything here. I'll make sure it won't break again. I'll make sure it... I'm not going to... Hmm. I'm not sure it's... That's no help at all. Okay, let me just see where I can go. I'm just curious where it's going to let me go. I'm assuming I can't leave town. I can't just no, leave the fairy leave to the town. mob's mercy. And I can't go this way. So, is there anything out here? No. 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 No, nothing. So if you double click, you go fast. Please, Geron, hurry up. I'm not seeing anything else, so the only thing I can guess is I have to use my current inventory to do this. And the only other thing I have is the catapult. And I don't see how the catapult would help, honestly. And I can't grab it. So it can't launch at the string. This is all such a nightmare. Okay. Well, I have a door. I mean, it's possible that this is a pixel hunting nightmare, but I somehow... Oh, wait! We can put... What am I doing? Garon, they've begun to throw stones! I can put the this thing way. there! Oh my gosh. Wow. Mary, come now! What happened here? No time. We have to get out of town. Is he... Dead? Don't think about him. We have to go. He wanted you to die, and if we stay here, he'll get his wish. What? How do you know that? Before he died, he asked me to kill you. But I won't do that. I will protect you, so please trust me and come already. This is him being stubborn. Man, I, 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 I that took way too long. You can come out now. The mob has calmed down. That's that good. was the gong for the sixth hour of evening. I was supposed to be a hero by now. A hero? The king asked me to get rid of a plague of crows in the castle. I would have shown them all. Get rid of a plague of crows? I prefer saviors of fairies. I can never go back. That's for the best anyway. The creatures who killed your mentor would find you immediately. How come you know so much? Why are you helping us? I have my reasons. Night hair. Good thing those creatures didn't find you before me. Night hair? Geron, what are we going to do now? We'll travel to the Red Lake in the Blood Barrier. Oh, into no. Orkland. I'm banished. Into Orkland? Uh, I hope you know what you're doing. Gwynling said something about a fairy scholar. He will know about our... Uh, well, about you, Nuri. He'll help you. Perhaps he can show me how to use magic again. Without any pain. Yes, I'm sure he can. What do you think, Raven? Hmm, it's a possibility. The scholar mustn't send me back to my home, though. I'll never go back there. Come on, I want to be as far away from this place as possible when the sun goes down. Poor boy. He's taking desperation for determination. I trust him. You know that his mentor told him to kill you. I know. He told me, but he won't do it. He'll take me to safety and together we'll see the world. Ah, <sighs> that will be marvelous. Geron, wait. Don't worry, Raven. He's not going to do anything foolish. 
I hope you're right, my child. He is very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. All right. We're going to Orkland, I guess. For the first time in his life, Geron was leaving home. Wahoo! He didn't know exactly where the Red Lake was, no! or whether he would be able to find the fairy scholar there, or how he might be able to help him. So he just followed the road towards the north. Seems how could legit. he have known where this journey would take him? sorrows behind. Finally, she was free. And as soon as they found the fairy scholar, she would even be able to command magic again. Then she would put a rainbow bird in every tree and would paint a happy face on Geron. filled his heart with doubt. Oh no! So we're heading north. Heading north. Why did you have to get involved with the Wraithling King? King Efferdan is not a... Wraithling. It's just the name of his family. Hey, Big Roy. why does everybody believe that you bring bad luck? I don't bring bad luck. Come, perhaps that old woman over there knows the way to the fairy scholar. We went she north. She can take us there in her wagon. We're trying to Wait. get to the fairy scholar. let scholar. me do the talking. Let me do the talking. You're very talented with the loot. Why, thank you. It's the tune for a loved one. A loved one? Hmm. But tell me, please, who are you? And why are you tiptoeing around my camp? I will tell the truth. We come from Andergast, and we're traveling north to the Blood Barrier. This is Nuri, and I am Geron. The Blood Barrier? What is your business there? My mentor died, and I want to carry out his last wish. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't lose sight of his wish. Greetings, Raven. What dealings does the Raven have with you? You bringer of bad luck, Boron's envoy, you and your ilk. You have taken my loved one from me. Go away! Okay. Stay away from the messengers of Boron. Wow. Oh, she was talking specifically to the Raven. I thought she was talking to and us. And who are you? Oh, yes. I am Isida, the Carney Bride. But I'm a widow now. What happened to your husband? Oh, my dear Darian. He was a magnificent I'm guessing he died. acrobat. I used to play the lute and sing while he was performing, but our act didn't earn as much of a living anymore. So he had the high rope set up higher than ever before. You mean... There were no last words, and no last wish I could foster in my heart. That... Uh, I know how you... Never mind. Where are you headed? I'm on my way to Andergast. You might know that the Queen of Nostria is eagerly awaited. I want to perform my arts at the town fair there, but now I have a broken wheel on my trailer, and I am stuck. Suppose I fix the wheel for you. Good luck with that. It's all splintered. Ah, we have a quest. Suppose I... Good luck with... We can't quit this. We'd be much faster if we used the Carney's wagon, but... You'd better avoid Andergast, Isida. How do you reckon? I'm not going back. 
All of Andergast is full of crows. They're hassling the citizens and no one can do anything about them. Hmm. That sounds adventurous. The town fair has been cancelled. So, it would be useless for me to go there. I guess you've told the truth so far, but I'm still not completely convinced. The Raven. He came from the direction of Andergast. Perhaps he's a bad omen. Hmm? I don't want to have anything to do with this messenger of bad luck. I guess I'd better turn round, but my problem remains. As long as the wheel is broken, I'm stuck here. You could take us with you, northward. It's much safer to travel in a group. As long as the wheel is broken, okay. I'm stuck here. Well, I will now offer help. Suppose I fix the wheel for you. Good luck with that. It's all splintered. All right. You can come back if you want to warm yourself up. So now we need to fix the wheel. I'm going to take a quick break to use the restroom. So let me pause it. Let me stop the timer. Pause the timer, I suppose. And I'm going to take a very, very quick break. If you want to vote, you can vote for the next game. Um, which you'll see right there right back message and I will indeed be right back in about a minute. So, we have arrived at this Carney's um, wagon, and we need to fix, we convinced her not to go to south, we convinced her to go back north, and um, we need to fix her wheel. So let's, let's, let's try this. So her wheel is clearly broken. Here we go. We see it broken here. This looks like yet another... Didn't you want to explore the surroundings, Raven? It's late at night, and I'm not an owl, bonehead. At least you could flutter around somewhere else for a change. You scared that old woman to death. If that's what you want, I'm used to ingratitude. We have a talking bird on our side, and it is... I don't know. Yoink! Yoink! Oh, this might be way easier than I thought, because the fairy can fix broken things, and we have a broken wheel. Huh. Well, we need all parts. Obviously, we need all parts of the wheel, so we only have two parts of the wheel. Where's the other part of the wheel? So we might have to make a substitute part. Gwynling and I used to catch dragonflies on the bank slopes of Andra. He then proceeded to skewer them. So we have two parts of the wheel, but we need a third part. Locked. Luckily, the axle is still intact. 
That's good. Hey! <laughs> the truncated unicorn doesn't like Garen. Unicorn? No worries. My Yimra is as stoic as an oak. Okay. Take a little rest. We still have a long way ahead of us. How long? I don't know. I never traveled very far. I hope everything will turn out all right. Same. Don't you worry. The Birdman will watch over us. I don't trust this raven worth a farthing. I'm not talking about the raven. I'm talking about the Birdman. He wears a colorful dress of plumes and is wrapped in stardust. And when he plays the flutes, our hearts break from the yearning for distant places. It's the song of freedom, Garen. You just have to listen. It's so beautiful. Birdman? You mean Arvis, the patron god of adventurers? Wherever we go, he'll watch over us. Okay. So you can fix things with a spell, yes? It's not good when things are broken, but that's all I can do. Bigger spells drain too much energy from me when I'm not in the fairyland. I'd perish like a small, insignificant little flame. But repairing things is definitely an option. Yes, that's easy. It's similar to your breaking talent, but instead of imagining things smashed apart, you have to imagine the shards reassembling. Just tell me what you want me to fix, but all the components have to be of present. Of course they do. So if a jug is broken into seven shards, You'd have to have all seven pieces. And then you'd have to say, I wish. The I wish part is very important. I don't remember saying that last time, but maybe I said I wish I had a whole knife. I don't know. Nuri! All right. I'll have a further look around. All right, I need that last piece of wheel. Let's talk to let's talk to her and see. How are you? So so. No, she can't. You can come back. She can't help me. I need I need one more piece of wheel. I have two parts of the cartwheel, and I need at least one more. What's this button? What's this do? Oh, this is my braking ability. What's this? I don't know what this is. Perhaps the fairy can produce fire, too. That would be an asset for our travels. Is that my, is that my repair ability? This is my break ability? Okay. I forgot about my ability to break things. Gwynling and I used to catch dragonflies. He then... Maybe I can break the door. My magic isn't strong enough to break a lock. I know. I've tried. I don't need magic for that. Okay. I can't get into the trailer that way. I don't know why I'm trying to break into the trailer, but okay. This seems kind of weird. Okay, they did some inventory cleanup too. So I've got just a knife and two parts of a cartwheel. Okay, let's, let's do some, so we got the campfire. There's one thing that we can do. We've got Nuri, we got me, we got the horse. We got the axle, we got the slope. The trailer door, the skylight. Looks like that's about it. Okay, so. How are we going to get... Let's look at the horse. Horses are almost as mysterious as fairies to me.
Wherever did I get that idea? If I break the lock, the puppeteer won't take us with her for sure. So we need to get up here somehow. And I don't know how. What am I supposed to cut here? Hmm. I'm not randomly cutting things up here. Hey, coffees. All right. I mean, we could stab her. But she knows where she's going, so that's probably a bad idea. Let's talk to Nuri some more. Let's see if she has some hints that she can give us. Nuri! Why do you trust the Raven? He just wants to help us. He doesn't have a reason to do that, and he keeps insulting me. You're not making it easy to be nice to you. He is a good bird. That's and I valid. Believe he wants to prove that to himself by helping us. And you, Geron, will have to learn to trust someone. Not everyone is always against you. I am a bird catcher. I'm not going to trust a darn bird. Looming danger? What if the birdman doesn't watch over us? What if something happens to us? Stop it. You're making me all confused. I'm going to count the stars now. One, two, three, four, five, six. By the gods, you can't mean that. You should try for yourself. It will calm you down in a moment. Mm -hmm. Thirty-seven. There, you forgot one. <laughs> I like it much better like that. Aren't you tired too? Not one bit. Okay. I'll have a further look around. All right. That didn't help. Is it even possible to cut that? I feel like I'm missing something. Perhaps the fairy can produce fire, too. That would be an asset for our travels. I wonder if that's really the only magic she's capable of. It would have to be broken first. That's too sturdy. No time to... Why would we break the axle? I have no idea. A lot of things are fragile. This isn't one of them. A lot of things are fragile. It's still intact. No time to... What's this bank slope for? It's a weird thing to be there. What's it, what's the point of it? Just a moment. There's something lying there. Ah. We had to look at it first. All right, we have all the parts of the wheel now. All right. I wish... Uh... Hey! <laughs> really very funny. A nice wheel. All right. Oh, you... You can do magic? Not much anymore. Uh-oh. Are you... a druid's daughter? No, I am Nuri Daranella Vandra. Do you command magic? Well, nothing like that. 
But I know a different kind of magic. Really? A different kind of magic? What Darian kind? and I were sometimes able to literally blind our audience. Watch out. Oh, such a beautiful, Make bright light. <laughs> but do you always use this white powder for your magic? What powder? And it doesn't hurt you to summon light? Does the powder lessen your pain? I... I... Really don't know what you're talking about. Fixed. Can't get into the trailer that way. I don't know why I'd want to get. Okay, let's save it. We're gonna save again. We'll save up here. We'll 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 write over this game. Yes. There we go. Turn. This game. Now we'll talk to her and say, "Hey, your wagon's fixed." The wheel is back on the axle. Would you agree to give us a ride for a while now? You have fixed the wagon. And by Travia, I can use a little company. Here are the keys to the trailer. I'll stay at the campfire a little while longer. Oh, well, that's the easy way to get in. She gave me the keys. All right. Let's go in. Ooh. This was a nice day. Oh, yeah. Like hell it was. I won the oak leaf challenge. What are we going to do next? We'll sleep. Look. This is the white powder the wrinkly woman used to summon the glistening white light. I saw her throwing it into the fire. Don't touch that. Who knows what it is? I'll sleep in the bed. You can have the rug. <sighs> ah! Huh? What? What was that? That... That came from outside. Uh, of course. No, no, nobody was here. She is lying. Regrettable. He who speaks lies shall hold his tongue. Please, believe me. There's no one here besides me. Oh, yes, they are here. She's trying to lead us up the garden path. She'll have to tell us where they are. Please, I can't tell you anything else. In that case, we can't leave her unscathed. Will you go away? Time flows fast in this world. Lives are shortened all the time. They are here, and we will find them. We will find them. All right. What's going on? Two strange figures are looking for us. They don't know where we are yet, but they're threatening Isida. Oh, no. We must help her. I have to distract the creatures somehow, or chase them off. All right, time to get some white powder. And throw it into the fire. I'm not touching the stuff with my bare hands. Why? Why not? Touch the stuff with your bare hands, man. Oh. They'd only slow me down. It's hollow. Yoink! Okay. I hope the powder does what it's supposed to. Now what? We're, we're really just gonna go out? Okay, anything else? Da, 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 da. I don't think so. Oh, we can go out here. We might as well give up before we decide to lock ourselves in here. If I go out now, they'll find us.
Hmm. Ladder. Yoink! All right. She's trying to lead us up the garden path. She'll have to tell us where they are. Please, I can't tell you anything else. In that case, we can't leave her unscathed. Will you go away? Time flows fast in this world. Lives are shortened all the time. They are here, and we will find them. No, no, nobody was here. She's lying. Regrettable. He who speaks lies. Please believe me. We've already oh, heard yes, this conversation before. All right, so I think I want to. With the powder in the head, I can easily hurl it into the fire. But I'll have to plug it first so the powder doesn't trickle out. Seriously? I have to plug it? Okay. I guess I need a plug. Boo-earns! Boo-earns! So I'm gonna make, uh, apparently a... little bomb or something. Powder head. Yep. What can I use to plug it? I mean, I feel like It'd only slow me down. There's tons of things here that I can use to plug it, but they want me to find a specific thing to plug it. This doesn't yield anything. No. No, I don't want to cut and... I, and I'm not... We must help... Stay at the door. We must help... Stay at the door. The door stays closed. Okay. We have to find something to plug it with in here. There's a bunch of stuff here. We can't take that. The magnesium we can't take. I hope the powder does what it's supposed to. There's drawers here, we can't deal with those. So we need to figure out something. Yeah, I feel like I'm pixel hunting now. Some wax from a candle, that would be a bad idea. Um, maybe there's something up at the top that I didn't notice when I was up there. Wait, wait. No. Oh. Oh, I thought I saw something, but I guess I didn't. That's Nuri. Oh, it's Nuri. Okay. Wait. Wait. A rag. I found a rag. There we go. I could seal the opening of the neck with the rag. Nice. Now nothing's trickling out anymore. Hurry. There we go. She's wasting time. No! No! Ah! They killed her, just like... Uh-oh. The creature is coming to the... I have to get us out of here. What happened to Isida? She's all right. She fled. But... The creatures injured her, but then they let her go. But... And then she ran off into the woods. Nuri, we have to go now. They'll kill us. Ah! Geron! Huh. Interesting. It looks like I have an alt it looks like we have some alternate salute we let's let's try let's try and go back and uh save her. Because we have a way to do it. We're gonna save here. We're gonna load this game. Wheel is back. Would you? You have fixed the hero. I'll stay. Okay. So clearly, I have a time limit here. 
But let's see if we can, let's see what happens if we do this. Let's go in. This was a nice day. Oh yeah, like hell it was. So she can I die. I won the oak leaf challenge. That's interesting. What are we going to do next? We'll... Look. This is the white powder the wrinkly woman used to summon the glistening white light. I saw her throwing it into the fire. Don't touch that. I'll sleep in the bed. Uh, ah! Uh, what was that? That... No. Sweetly. Oh, yeah. She, she, please. In that. Will you tie? Lie. They. Alright. So we have a. What's I going think on? we have a time Some limit. Strange figures are looking need... for us. They don't know where we are yet, but they're. Th oh, no. I have to destroy. I don't know if we. Ha I don't know if there's a time limit or what, but. It's hollow. doesn't work I hope the powder does and then we take the rag and we fit, put that in the head I could seal the opening of now nothing's true. hurry and then we take the ladder this We go up She's the thing. wasting. They are. No! No! Ah, okay. Ah. We did not have a choice. We did the they right thing. They killed her just like that. The creature is coming to the coach okay. box. I have to get us out of here. So that was supposed to happen. What happened to Isida? That's a little right. disappointing. Well, she fled. I must but say. Her cry. The creatures injured her, but then they let her go. But. And then she ran off into the woods. Nuri, we have to go now. They'll kill us. Ah! Geron! If I go out now, they'll find- Well, they've kind of already found us, haven't they? Well, we still have that head thing. So... Perhaps this powder will chase him off. But if it doesn't, all will be lost. Fex be with me. It didn't work. It didn't work? Well, that's bad. Why didn't it shatter? I'm not randomly cutting things up here. Hmm. Oh, we can use our break magic. Make yourself useful for once. Nice. Our break magic for the win on that one. So we got one of them. We got one of them. Now we need to get the other one. Maybe we can just knife them. Oh, wait, they're not even a thing. Okay. So maybe we, now we can open this latch and go out. Yes, we can. There. Now, quickly. It's already loose. It's already loose. Too far away. Geron! I'm working as fast as I can. I can do it, Nuri. Geron! I can do it. All right, here we go. Crap. Bad. Hey, she did something. See that? 
to use some other magic. Was it not fate that drove him forth? Wow. The seer had sought them out. For the moment, they had been able to escape, but the creatures would never stop chasing them. Ugh. Who could help them now? When the seer's harp sounds, Andergast will perish, Gwenling said. And the fairy is the key. Geron had to find out more about these things. The fairy scholar was his only hope. He was right to let Nuri live. He was deeply convinced of that. Even his darkest dreams didn't reveal what woe this decision would soon befall his hometown. But would he have decided any differently had he known? Are you really better now? Stop asking all the time. I'm not staying in the wagon. I've been in there for days. And those pale men stopped chasing us a while ago. All right, but we'll have to talk about your magic at some point. Look! A human! <sighs> what am I doing here? On the run. We got an on the run medal or something. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Shutter. We see a shutter. We see a knight. We can go that way. We see a one berry bush. Um, a mechanism. All right, let's talk to the knight. Hail Rondra, Sir Knight. Could you kindly tell us where we are? This is the Thash Mountain Range. Thash? So the blood barrier is not far off? It is but a short distance for a traveling knight. <laughs> For a farm boy and a maiden, it might prove quite a journey. I am no farmer. My maiden, you should seek protection from a proper man in these dangerous surroundings. What kind of a man? <laughs> <laughs> I am Bogomil Rathwing, Knight of Andergast. At your service, fair maiden. <laughs> <laughs> I am Nuri. This is my friend Geron. Nuri it is. What an extraordinary name. What business does a knight of Andergast have in the Thash Mountains? The king put me in charge of observing the orc tribes of the Blood Barrier. You have traveled through the Blood Barrier? Of course, but now I have to return to Andergast. There has been some unrest amongst the Tolokai. I have to report to King Efferdan immediately. Did you run into an explorer in the Blood Barrier near a red lake? Huh, red lake. No, but if he came from the no. south, he must have been through here. Gear. We need some gear. A rope, blankets, provisions, everything that can be of use. Usually you can get those things from Graham. But the old pig head hides in his house and doesn't make a sound. I wouldn't trust that cutthroat anyway. Do you hear that, Graham? You are a cutthroat. Graham. Why does this Graham hide anyway? The stupid ox won't admit that I am right. Right? Right. He refuses to pay the dues he owes me. What dues? He's responsible for the death of my horse. Gave him spoiled fodder, so he died miserably. I'm in a hurry, but by foot alone I won't get far. Why don't you buy this horse and carriage from us? What use is Akani's trailer to me? But you can leave me your hack. What are you asking for it? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Make up your mind about the price. Then I'll tell you mine. Why don't you buy this? What use? But you can leave. What are you asking? I'm not really. <laughs> Make up your. Then I'll. So I somehow have to make up my mind Wonder about the price. And with you. Okay. All right. Futile, my boy. That's a dwarf's job. Strange contraption. The owner of the yard doesn't seem to be satisfied with a simple pool rope. Strange con- The owner of the- 
Strange. The owner of the yard. Here in the mountains, a bell like this will scare the birds for miles around. So I can go back into the, uh, the wagon. Never again, and that's my f maybe I re grab some stuff. Yoink! So I probably can't sell the wagon until I have everything out of it that I need, is my guess. Yoink! Whoops. I did that a little bit too early. Yoink! There we go. Yoink! Okay, is that everything we need? Nope, we, need, we have a lid. I'll just take it all. Yoink! Okay, that implies we got everything. Okay, now, now maybe we can sell it. Sir Knight Rathling. What is it, my boy? What kind of big bell is that in the tower? That's a, a storm, storm bell. bell. During the Orkham storm, when old Wendelin was still king, it was sounded to warn the lumberjacks in the vicinity of the pilfering hordes. Believe me, my boy, it could wake anyone from their sleep when it was still in working order. Why don't you buy this horse and carriage from us? What use is a carny's but you can leave me? What are you asking? I'm not really sh- <laughs> Make up your- okay. Then I'll- can't. Maybe we have to talk to Nuri. Rondra be and with you. Let's talk to Nuri about it. Maybe she has some insight, but Listen. I doubt it. We need some gear before we can move on. That's all right. I can do with a little rest. Very well. What kind of magic was that that you saved us with? That was the power of the moonlight. It is like fire to the sad fairies. It burns them. What do you mean, sad fairies? I felt that they once were just like me. And now they are sad? Sure. If fairies lose their command over magic, they don't die but get consumed by darkness instead. Then they're sad and will never be able to laugh again. Well, that's to me, they seemed like mean fiends who have Isida's blood on their hands. They're sad nonetheless. Believe me. Your magic is fatal, even for you, isn't it? You almost got burned by it yourself. I didn't want you to die. Thank you, Nuri. What are we going to do now? Why do those mean fairies serve the seer? You must have put a spell on them. <laughs> and please stop talking about this subject. It's making me sad. Oh, I don't want you to be a sad fairy. What, what's this? Attack? How are you doing? Oh, I'm attack. sad Talk that about the seed is gone. Okay. I hope these terrors will come to an end soon. That's why we're looking for the fairy scholar to prevent worse things from happening. All right. Let's carry on later. Let's carry on later. All right. Du -du 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 -du. My arm is too short. Oh, I don't have an extendo arm. Boo arms, boo arms. I need an extendo arm. All right, but I did get a bell. And a drumstick and a tin bottle. An elixir against fading hair. Twirly moustache guy in the picture must have had a sip too much of it. I wish Nuri had never found this thing. Well, it's so-so. Uh, At least the music has revived her spirits. Nobody home. Graham is home. He just went into hiding. Not loud enough to wake somebody inside. I'm not sure. Okay, let's try using these on the mechanism. Maybe we can get the bell working. Okay, so now we can do that. Now we need a drumstick, maybe? That's much too frail to use as a crank. Uh, let's try the, let's try the staff. Fits exactly. All right, here we go. Fire! Murder! The orc 
Mutants are attacking! What are you lot still doing here? Scram before the black furs get here. Aha! <laughs> Seems like you've been fooled, Sir Dwarf. The boy has sounded the bell. There are no orcs attacking. What? What's going on in your wooden head, boy? Sounds the alarm without good cause and forces an honest dwarf out of his warm and comfy chair. I can't believe it. I just wanted to... You didn't answer the door, sir. Well, forget it. But you can cut out the formal hogwash while we're at it. Who are you, anyway? I am Geron of Andergast. From Andergast? Just like this one there? Very well, then. My name is Gram. Grandoline's son. And this is Gram's open house. Open house? Pfft. What do you want, Geron of Andergast? What kind of argument do you and the knight have anyway? I have no idea what you're talking about. The knight says you poisoned his horse. Why, that's what he did. Shut your face, Rathling! Bah! Well, never mind. It's none of my business. You're not so stupid after all. We need gear and provisions for our journey. That means a good length of rope, blankets, water... Very well! That'll be one ducat, please. What? That's much too expensive. By Fex and Angrosh, what did you expect? Do you think this stuff grows under the rocks around here? Too expensive? I can't believe it. But... You can ask again as soon as you have some money. We're looking for a wise man who is said to be in the blood barrier at the moment, near a red lake. One of those weirdos, eh? I remember one of them coming through here. Wanted to buy all sorts of stuff from me. Really? Lots of obscure rubbish. Do you know exactly where I can find him? Yes. Yes. I'll tell you if you can offer me something in exchange. You rub my back, I rub yours, understand? There you have it, my boy. The dwarf is a cutthroat. Will you bugger off and take care of your swine? Hmm. I'll sell you the horse and the trailer. Nah, don't bother. I don't care much for hacks and what they drag around with them. Where is the fairy scholar, pray tell? Do you have anything nice to offer me in exchange? Um... In that case, I have no idea where the chap is. Ah, uh, okay. I'll leave you to it then. Mm. I think that gives me the idea of what I need to get from this guy to buy the gear I need. Sir Knight Rathling. What is it, my boy? I'll sell you the horse for one ducat. <laughs> that old nag isn't worth more than half a ducat. And that would be the deal of your life, my boy. So do we have a deal? No, we need one ducat. Well, my offer still stands. I guess we'll have to move on without any gear, Nuri. But I thought we couldn't go on without. To venture into the blood barrier with insufficient means, that would be foolish. But we don't have any money, and you refuse to give us enough for the horse. Bah! If we don't move along soon, the dark creatures will catch up with us. I didn't think they were very dark. They were mainly sad. They killed Isida, and they almost got us too. I thought they were a little bit like me. No, I'm sure they weren't. Don't you want to help Nuri, good Sir Knight Rathling? <laughs> She's looking quite all right, so why would she need help from me? I wonder what your friends at home are doing at the moment. Why? Well, they're all alone now, and they surely miss you. All alone? Miss Greenbell, we have to go back and fetch them. No, we can't go back now. Do you want to run directly into the creature's claws? We have to find the fairy okay, scholar. This is like a he will help us, and then we can puzzle, fetch Mrs. Greenbald and the rest. Miss Greenbald. 
Hmm. The night is right. We can't proceed further into the wild with nothing in our bags. I guess we're stranded for now. And we can't go to Miss Greenbald. Don't be sad, girl. I can't stand that. There. Don't you want to there help Nuri? Good Sir Knight Rathling. Oh my. What's wrong with her? She's sad that we can't go on. What can I do for you, Nuri? Miss Greenbald. How can I help? Can't you buy the gear for us from Graham? You'd get a horse and everybody would be... By no means. I'll never do business with that old chief skate again. Okay. He's not honestly asking a ducat for some gear. Bah. Please help us out with one ducat, good sir knight. Half a ducat for the horse and half a ducat to make Nuri smile again. <laughs> I think you've got me, my boy. No gold in the world is spent in vain if it makes beauty smile again. Here you go. I thank you, good knight. So we can travel soon? Yes. And Miss Greenbelt won't have to wait much longer. Yes, that's the spirit, my girl. Say, don't you want to stay with me after all? Not on your life. <laughs> okay. Yoink! That does not look like the same horse that we had before. It feels weird, like... Selling the horse. What do you want? Here's the money for the gear. Wonderful! Here's your stuff! It's exceptional Yoink. quality. Good value, too. I sure Yoink. hope so, dwarf. Hmm. Mm. I'll give you some advice for free. When you go into the blood barrier, you'd better not burden yourself with too much stuff. You'll feel every ounce in your bones up in the mountains. Yes, I know that. I'll leave you to it, then. Mm. Okay. So how do I get... I need to figure out how to get that plant. I think he would... I think that plant is maybe what I need. So how would I get that? I can offer you this beard tonic. Why, but it's transparent. A black beard needs a blue luster. And for that, I already have my Jenna Creek Blue Shine Beard Dye. Okay. What's he supposed to do with this? Do you want to swap this? This piece of wood? And he gave me all this stuff, so... I got a knife. Not very good steel. I'll have a real knife for you for three ducats. No thanks. Hey, keep your paws off my Jenna Creek Blue Shine Beard Dye. Do you think my beard gets groomed by air and darkness alone? Ah. You'd better leave the stuff to this dandy boy. It's his most beloved possession. I think we need to break it with magic. I think we need to break it with magic. What? No! By Angrosh and all the beard critters, my beautiful Jenna Creek Blue Shine beard die. Who did that? Perhaps Angrosh himself has punished you for your vanity, <laughs> Sir Dwarf. What will my beard have to say to that? All right, now maybe we can sell him some beard tonic. I can offer you this beard tonic. Why, but it's transparent. A black beard needs a blue luster. And for that, I already... No, you don't. It's broke. You lie. Smell it. Smells like juniper berries. One berries. Their bitter blue juice has healing properties. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I need, I need, the, I need the berries. I, di I thought I would need the berries, and I definitely now know I do need the berries. 
Dwarves hate magic, and he won't get his beard dye back this way either. Okay, so how do we get these? <clears throat> That's the next task at our on our hands, is to get these. Why must everything always be out of reach? Too obvious. I can't reach it. Listen. Nothing I can Let's say. carry on later. Nothing I can say. I can't get my stuff back from that. Wanberries, their bitter blue juice has healing properties. I could really use some sleep. Nuri doesn't like... It might have been a mistake to cut that up. I can't reach it. My arm is too short. This will yield nothing. Why must everything always... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How do we get it? When will we move on? I don't have the slightest idea where this red lake is. All right, so we definitely need his. We need the dwarf's advice to get the uh, to get there. Um, so we need we need this so we can probably put it in the hair dye, turn it blue, so we can give it to him in exchange for the the information. But we have to get these with our current inventory. I don't know. I don't like him, I don't like him telling us something may was maybe was a mistake, but. I don't think it would have let us do it if it was a mistake. That's not a tort. No, what use is... Not like this. Okay, then it'll be wet. How am I supposed to reach that? Hmm. Not a single berry is falling down, as always. I don't know. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get that. I see glass shards, so... But I can only smell them. Maybe we can talk. Let's talk to him. What do you want? No. I'll leave you to it then. No new info. Smells like juniper berries. What do you want? I'll leave you to it then. He wants blue hair tonic, so for that we need to get these. I don't think there's anything else in the wagon. Besides, it's not our. It's not, technically not ours anymore. Although, actually, we didn't sell the wagon. We sold the horse. So, we actually can technically go in here. Puppets. I don't. I think we got everything though. Um, I don't think there's any more in here to get. So, how do we get those? What am I missing? Let's talk to him again. Sir Knight, what is it, my? Nope, nothing I can talk to him about. Rondra be with you. And with you. All right. All right, all right. Well, I am baffled right now. Let's 
try let's try ringing this bell again foolish greatling the honor of sounding the bell belongs to a dwarf of Savarom's ancestry alone okay I could really use some sleep. This will yield. Why should I? So we can ring the bell more, and he apparently doesn't like that. So let's ring it again. Does he say the same thing? Or is he getting even more mad? Foolish greatling! The honor of self. No, he doesn't get more mad. He just gets as mad. When will we move? I don't. Okay, we need to figure this out. Wait, there's a raven. I just noticed the raven's there. Maybe he can get it for us. Raven, after being a good scout for us these last few days, Nuri has asked me to be nicer to you. What do you think? Will you be able to do that? I'll try. How about you? Hmm, we'll see. Aha! One berries. Yes. Do you see the flower box at the dwarf's house up there? I see him. There are one berries in there. Can you fly up there and get me some? Do you need a healing remedy? Are you injured? No, but they are great for wounds. We should be prepared for all possibilities on our journey. All right then. Yes! It worked! Woohoo! That is awesome! Good job, bird. Whom I want to call Crow. But you are not Crow, so I will I will not be calling you Crow. Feel a cunning plan coming on. All right, let's take these. Yoink! This crow isn't funny, though, or this bird isn't funny. Let's see if the bird will be funny for us. Um, be funny, be funny. We were able to escape the seer's creatures and have come a long way. Fate might smile on us favorably. Now we're back in charge. Well, well, fate. What do you think that is? Fate. The will of the gods. And you think you can bend the will of the gods to fit your agenda? No, but he who firmly believes in his goals will be helped by the gods. I'm sure that's what Isida thought too. She did nothing to deserve your sarcasm. All I'm trying to say is, no one ever Taco escapes party. from Satinav's boundless gaze. It's rain and tacos. Okay. Have you seen if those demons are still following us? Didn't you shake them off? I think I did. I could be wrong, though. They are mighty creatures of the seer. I didn't see anyone following us on my scouting flights. Good. <clears throat> but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Don't start raining on my parade. Nuri thinks that the seer's creatures more were funny. wicked fairies. How come he's got such a strong relation to fairies? You're barking up the wrong tree. Does he plan to make her a wicked fairy as well? Possibly. Tell me more about Satinav. He's known by many names. The Thirteen Horn. Oh, the Seer's the name is Satinav. The Helmsman of the Barge of Time. He once was a mighty magician 
or even a demigod. The gods chained him to the barge of time because he tried to be the master over his own future. They say the gods don't like people to determine their own fate. Like Satinaf, we mortals are chained to time. In that case, I will have to break those chains. Ah, the name of the I'll game. I'll have a further look around. All right, now we combine these with this. Maybe I can mix my own blue beard tonic. I'll have to squeeze the berries somehow. Ah, I need something to squeeze the berries. Ugh, why don't I use my hands? Urgh, squeeze those berries. Urgh. Jeez, what the heck? Why does this have to be so complicated? Now all I have to do is squeeze the berries. So we put the berries in the lid, and now we need something to squeeze them with. The lid makes a perfect bowl. The lid makes a... I'd rather not. How do I fill it? The drumstick worked. Quindling okay. taught me how to lure fairies with music. He should have also taught me how to get rid of them again. Okay, I wasn't expecting the drumstick to work, but it did. All right, now I have to figure out how to fill the bowl or fill this thing. So I need a funnel. Okay. Wow, this is this is complicated. This is way more complicated than I thought. Oh no. Good old Gratian Bluebeard die. I guess I didn't. I just put it in. Alright, now we train. Can you make use of this uh, Garatian beard tonic? I'll give it to you for some information. Mm hmm. Let's see it. Garatian? Hmm. I guess this will have to make do until I can get my hands on the real stuff again. So, what do you want to know? Where exactly has the scholar gone? He babbled something about a cave to the north of a big orc statue, near a red lake. He couldn't wait to get there. His imp had made a mess of my whole shop. When did the fairy scholar pass through here? Uh, that must have been a month ago. Wanted to stay the winter in the blood barrier. I called him crazy. All his imp had for me was a dirty laugh. How do we get to this cave? First you travel end? north, through the Screech Owl Forest. Or, better yet, past Bloodthorn Hollow. Oh, never mind. I'll show you on the map. Okay, thanks. What is an imp doing with a fairy scholar? How the hell should I know? That was an unholy, uninhibited, nasty little imp. Ugly and mean. My shop still reeks of his foul mouth. Why, thank you, Master Dwarf. All right, we got some info. We also got blue gunk in our lid. We basically murdered this plant. I mean, there's a little bit left, but... Listen. Let's carry on later. All right, I think we can leave now. Come on, Yuri. Let's move on. Come along, Raven. All right. We're moving on. The blood barrier. Most impossible of all mountain ranges. What in the name of all twelve gods had made the fairy scholar come here? Good question. There wasn't a single danger that didn't lurk here. Oh. Oh, he almost died. Looks like. 
of she almost dying. Into what kind of barren land had he brought Nuri? The orcs called these mountains Gravish's Claws. And of all Ooh. the black furs, the most horrible tribe called this its home. They took their captured prisoners to the caves of Orakar and hunted them to death. That's what was said of the bloodthirsty Zolochai. And the path led straight through their camp. How convenient. Or not convenient. Hey, we got a ding. Right, here we are. Shh, Nuri. Come over here into the shadows. They can't see us here. That's a whole camp of orcs. If they find us, we're dead. Raven! Go on, report. <laughs> and crawl a little less loudly, if you will. The Red Lake is behind this ridge, but the orcs are everywhere. They are here to perform a ritual. It will take days for them to finish it and leave. No Red Lake, then? Nonsense. We haven't journeyed through the blood barrier for days just to turn back now. You want to save the fairy, yet you risk her death. I thought Nuri could trust you. <laughs> but you're doing exactly what Gwyndling asked you to. I... Don't worry, Raven. Garen knows exactly what to do. Don't you, Garen? Well, I haven't killed of us course yet. I do. I'll get you to the fairy scholar in one piece. This can't be true. The orcs will rip us apart. You'd better hurry. Do you have any suggestions? I'm going to stop the timer and going to save. And we're going to continue here tomorrow. They're talking stuff they're talking orc language that we can't understand